it is easily cracked. It is easily cracked. So now the lab is ready. Let us go through this particular one. The tools may be different, but the idea is same. Uh, you have to be very careful while choosing the passwords. Okay. So if you, the passwords are strong, it cannot crack. If the passwords are easy, the hash looks same, but it is easy uh, for uh, members to, uh, okay, for the password to be cracked. So first is that, just log into Windows 10. So now let me get the information also for Windows 10. This is my Windows 10, this is my public IP. And this is my private IP. I'll just copy this from the right here. Yeah. Just go to the Mina. And uh, this password is, uh, what is that? Cyber sector. Right yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, give this. Windows cyber sec. Okay. We have to keep things handy. So I have maximized the screen. You see this one, there are many tools which are there. Many tools also has been installed. Let us go through the lab first. So here in Windows 10, you can see the command prompt admin. Uh, yeah, it is given here already. I didn't go through this one. So CD, desktop, same thing, go with FG dump, but command prompt as an administrator you need to be. So how do you do that? Just say CMD. What is that CMD? Otherwise you can say CMD. Here already CMD is there. Just right click and say run as administrator. Run as administrator. More. Run as administrator. Don't run directly, run as administrator. Okay, system 32. Uh, CD, you have to go to desktop and run this FD. Mm -hmm. There is no copy paste also. CD, C colon, users, cybersec. CD, users, CD, cybersec. Desktop. Yeah, you see this fgdump.exe. There is a file name called as fgdump.exe, which dumps all your uh, like the same thing, uh, which uh, which uh, uh, dumps your uh, this utility may be responding starting dump is as expected. Later on, you can see uh, use the notepad to create it on the desktop. Okay, so these are very crucial tools. Secure, highly see it should be secure. So just run this one. Yeah. So total failed servers and total successful servers only one. So catchy dumped uh, successfully. So I think it has dumped into one of the file already. Let me just go through that. So may, maybe at least uh, a stop, but starting this as expected, like this. Use a notepad to open this particular file created on the desktop itself. So you can see that there is one file which has been created, which is there on your desktop. Yeah, this one, 127.001 PW dump file. So this is the file. Exactly, it looks the same. Uh, yeah, like your PW dump. Here you see this one for the administrator, you see this is the hash value. Even for the student, this is the hash value. So if you want to know how to crack this particular one, uh, you can use some tools. This is CyberSec also is there. You can see here, uh, more or less all the passwords are same. Because this CyberSec or student or administrator, the password is uh, CyberSec only. So that's the common password which is there. But still, let us crack. Let us crack. So take note down of so and so. Okay. Uh, just make a note of this. Exactly 770. Same thing is here. Right? Right. So some people often do another thing also. They go to crackstation.net. Some of you, are you aware of this one? Password cracking tool. So if you know that this is the password, just copy this one, paste this one here and tell uh, what is the uh, 
crack the hash. It will identify based on this particular one uh, what is the what is this uh, MD5 or whatever what is the algorithm also. It will identify. This has a very very you see this one all this type of uh, can be cracked. LM, NTLM, MD2, MD5. This is a LM, uh, sorry, NTLM. So just crack. It will tell you reverse engineering. So the passcode result is CyberSec. So we will often use this one. If you know this code, that is enough. You can even just dump it here. He has TBs and TBs of uh, uh, data over there. Uh, I don't know how much he has, but most of it, no need to do all the PW dump. But for learning, you can do all those things. If you have the hash value, just dump it here. It will tell you the cyber, the result also. The result also. Is this clear? So now let us understand about verify free password hash cracker also. Forget about this crack session. This is another method. But here also we have another method how to crack this one. So in this, I open a browser. So crackstation.net, which is there. Ah, same thing here also. There is nothing which is new. Here also he has given the crack session.net, crack the state, and you get it. And you get it. You get this one, the value is cyber set, which you have done. Yeah, and learn about this password policies. Password policies. How to set the password policy? Just close this one. The third lab, third exercise. Okay, Windows 10 run setpool.msc. Security. Okay. Uh, setpool.msc. Okay, this one. Just run that. Yeah, local security policy. Just to understand how to sec uh, secure your server. If it, if it is a simple services, then Yes, it happens like that. So how to do that? Uh, uh, in your account policies, go to password policy. In your account policies, go to your password policy. So you see this one, they, there is no policy which has been set. You can set password length must, must meet completely complex requirements. You can select and change it to enable. But I'm not doing anything here. You can set, but in normal cases, if you enable the complexity, then it will ask all the things which are there mean uh, small letter, big letter, uh, character, and of course, special character and uh, numerical, everything it will ask. So minimum aging policy, you can set here everything. So here he asked, enforce password history. You can set as 24. Means that last 24 pa passwords are stored here. It will not allow the previous 24 uh, uh, type of uh, passwords which are being recognized. I mean, it will not use, it will not allow. Uh, it should be a change, history for 24 passwords are remembered, okay? Minimum, maximum and minimum is, you can define maximum 30 days, one day is. So after 30 days, it will ask you to change the password. So just say apply and okay. And minimum password is, you can just say one. This is how you set the password policies for Windows 10 also. And password length, you can define as a policy. Length is nine characters. Normally it is seven. Some people use eight. Here he has mentioned as nine. Okay, you can set whatever policy you want. Eight characters. So yeah, nine characters. Password must meet complexity policies. Yes, enabled. Enable, apply, and say OK. And once if you set the password policy, the system will take accordingly. The system will take accordingly. So file and say exit. So it's already saved. And enforce the policy. How will you enforce the policy? You can say, go back to your C prompt and say simply GP update. GP update slash force. GP update slash force which will immediately, GP means group policy, group policy update. You have changed the password policy, it will take it into effect. The updating policy, it will say up policy success. Yeah, policy updated successfully. Very simple, simple one only. 
but try to do uh, a little bit more. Okay, the policy is now uh, applicable. So now uh, what we will do is that we will uh, create a user, right click a user and set password policy. Let us go through the uh, user. I mean, how to go to computer management or users and groups. Yeah. Go to control panel. Okay, user accounts. I mean, you can say uh, user accounts, just click that user accounts. Maybe not this. So that is the reason why I don't go in this way. Go to control panel. change the category to large items because remembering is very tough go to administrative tools this way only i know computer management we can go to computer management somehow you have to come into the computer management okay you can see this local users so he asked basically to set a password for a student okay you say student right click and set a password try to set a password simple password will not be accepted now Okay, simple password. Try to give some password, uh, new password, and confirm. Okay, so let me give cyber security. as a password. Let me see. It will say that simply the following error: the password does not meet policy requirements. Check for the minimum length and so and so. You have to give some tough password. Some tough password. I will I'll give some tough password. Okay. I have given all special characters, including numericals, etc., etc. Now you see, it will send the password has been sent. So this is how yeah, he has given some password recommendation. Also, you can set the policy. This one is true. If you give a simple password, no. I think that's all is the lab. That's all is the lab. And lab. If you have done everything. You can end lab. Yeah, is this clear? Any questions for, for anyone? Sir, we are doing it. Yeah, yeah, please do, please do. Please do. If there are any questions also, please ask. I can give you sufficient time. So, one thing I have already demonstrated is that uh, video, similar one, here also same one. Crackstation.net also, please do. But you should have Windows 10 familiarity. Yeah, in between, if anyone wants to ask any questions, you please ask, no problem, I'm there.